hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Maya thank you very much for clicking on today's video today I'm going to be reviewing the NYX Born to Glow foundation and I hope you like this video if you do do not forget to comment like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video so um, before um, we start with the video I'm going to show you this is what the foundation looks like um, I've got the shade Deep Espresso, and I also got um, the concealers, the Born to Glow concealers, and I got the shade for contouring. I got Deep Espresso, and then um, for for highlighting, I got caramel. So let's read what's on the website. It says you were born to glow, baby. Now it's time to let. Now it's time to let it show with. NYX Professional Makeup Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. This smooth liquid foundation is so glorious. We can't even. It's a buildable medium coverage glow foundation, and we are so uh, we are so proud to offer it in inclusive range of 45 fluttering shades. These liquid foundations will up your skin's natural glow and blend seamlessly with your Born to Glow products. You are going to love the you are going to love the smoothness, even tone glow, and you will even tone glow you will get from Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. This product is also vegan friendly. I feel like for a drugstore product, it has a lot of claims, but it is ten dollars, and you can find this in your beauty supply shop, drugstores, NYX website, or wherever. I'm also going to put the currency conversion in Euro and Ghana City and Slotty up on the screen. I, I have to say that I already tried this foundation, I believe um, two or three weeks ago, but I didn't like how the footage turned out. It has nothing to do with the foundation, let me say. So I decided to like refilm this whole review again. And I've got the shape Deep Express. Um, I saw Tandy Gamma use this foundation first and I really liked how it came out on her face. And she was in her video, she mentioned that if you are if you have the annual X can't stop on stop. Um, the person over there told her to go either a shape a shade a shade darker. No, a shade lighter because of the shade ranges between the can't stop on stop and the um, NYX Born to Glow. So I actually went one shade darker, which is why I got um, Deep Espresso. But one thing I noticed is that it was um, very dark. However, it is not bad to have a dark foundation, provided that you are going to contour and highlight and do everything. It's always it's always best to have a darker foundation because you know the contour and the highlighting will you know um, blend it all out than when you have a lighter foundation, unless you just want to have like. Um, a no makeup makeup day and just wear foundation then it will be better to like try to get your correct shade match so i actually don't mind that it is darker and i also don't have anything on my face i have dry skin just in case you want to use me as your, your shade reference or skin reference i have dry skin and i just have moisturizer on my face i feel like i look oily i'm looking at the screen and i look oily but it doesn't feel like that so i'm going to swatch this for you to see how it looks and this is what it looks like deep espresso or rich in espresso however it's called so i'm just going to put like a few pumps on my face and then i'm going to blend it out And also I didn't color correct or anything personally I don't like to color correct or do any of those things because hyperpigmentation is real and also um, one thing about foundation is you should always realize that as a person hyperpigmentation is real some people have darker necks, necks brighter face and brighter chest some people have darker face and brighter brighter necks and chest it depends on what you want you can match your foundation to your neck or to your chest however you feel like it's your choice 
you shouldn't be judged for that hyperpigmentation is real one thing i've noticed is that beauty blenders soak up the product so it's always nice to use a brush especially for foundation and you can see how oh i feel like when i look at my screen it looks like full coverage but i can definitely still see my skin but it says medium medium coverage so and you can definitely build this up if you feel like and it blends very nicely as well I feel like this has definitely blended well but I want more coverage so I'm going to go in with like one more pump Now let's go to the concealer. Concealer really blends very easy. I'm just going to go in with a little more concealer. One thing I'm learning about makeup is that when you're starting, just go gradually, especially when you want to blend out your concealers and foundation. Just go in bit by bit. It is much easier to like blend it well add on and keep on blending then it is when you have a lot and then i'm also going to go in and contour straight up So now that's my face, not my highlighted area. So I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder in the shade in the shade 350. And I always like to highlight my face first before I go into bake. So I'm going to place my eye and get the powder in. So now that I've set my face, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to be using the makeup revolution, the I Heart Revolution um, scented baking powder and this is the shade banana so i'm going to use banana to highlight my face and for and then go in there i'm 
going to use a contour um, brush and I'm going to use this um, contour palette I got from Inglot. Right now I'm just trying to clean it, clean the excess powder from my face. And for bronzer, I'm going to use my uh, Makeup Revolution Glow uh, Matte Bronzer. This is the shade medium. Then I'm going to finish up the rest of my face off camera, my lashes, and do my lips. And I'll be back to give you the final verdict. So it's been almost three hours now since um, I finished my makeup. And this is what my face is currently looking. If you have dry skin, I do believe that after three hours, this is how your face will be looking. Unless you are in the sun and you know, you are, you are doing something very hectic to sweat. But if you're like sitting in your office and chilling, I believe um, your foundation is going to stay put. Um, all the other products I use here blended in um very nicely and i'll see you in my next video i also filmed this eyeshadow tutorial if you want to see it definitely head out to my instagram and there is a video here on youtube which i'm also going to um link it down below so i'll see you in my next video bye